So we're very fortunate today to be joined by a mom who's ready to start her journey of prenatal hand expression. And in actuality, she's already done it for a little bit of time, so has some quantity to share with us. So it's important to wash your hands anytime you're going to do hand expression, which mom has already done. And then start simply by waking up your breast. And so we're going to see mom just going all around the breast with different techniques. She's going to do some rolling and some tapping. All of those are good to try because everybody's breasts respond differently to different stimulation. And the more things you try, the more you're going to learn what works for you. So after about 30 to 60 seconds of going around her breast, she's going to start the technique of pushing into the breast. So behind the nipple and then together. And so we're never on our nipple because remember from some of our other videos, we talked about how the nerve that services the nipple is very sensitive to pain. So we want to always stay off the nipple and are into the chest wall. So you see mom pushing in and then together and pushing in and then together. And you'll notice that actually she doesn't get colostrum right away. And then eventually you see the colostrum come. And colostrum can be any range of colors, green, even to a bit of a tinge of brown, because as breast tissue has been waking up, there might've been a little bit of blood. And so it doesn't mean you need to discard it. it just means that a whole range of colors are completely normal for your colostrum. So once mom has the, the little bit of colostrum coming out, she takes the syringe and literally uses it as a vacuum to suck it up off the nipple. So remembering that once she's collecting, she's doing this even four times a day. So she might only fill a quarter of the syringe the first time she does it. But she can use that same syringe and place it in the fridge in between. And then at the end of the day, label it and freeze it um, to be ready to take to the hospital. The other concept that this mum has agreed to help us demonstrate is what spoon feeding would look like. So we talked a lot about how you will practice breastfeeding but also doing spoon feeding to help get your milk in in the first three days. And so this mum is showing us how you would harvest onto a spoon and then all you would do is squeegee that under the baby's top lip. And that's a very powerful tool to use if you have a very sleepy baby because often if you do just a little bit of hand expression and get some food into them they actually wake up and do a really good feed. So I'm very grateful to this mom for helping us and I hope that you have found this video to be really helpful.